Legends, a series where uh, he's gonna confess all of his crimes, every single one of them. <laughs> uh, not a single one is gonna get by me. Don't you worry. Oh man, how do you know I have that many crimes? I was a ballpark guess. I don't, I've had to wait what? <laughs> Five thousand parts, dude. I'm, that's a lot of time I'm gonna have to devote into this. <laughs> but like, like internet history, it'd be like, you know, like a Chris Chan documentary. <laughs> no, I do. I do not want to have the Chris Chan documentary of of geek king crimes. I'm gonna be honest. That's of not. Geek that's not. Right. That's not my actual intent in life that's... to do that. That's history, though, bro. Like, that'll go down in the books forever. The digital, the digital footprint will be insane. <laughs> digital, dude, I don't want to look at my digital footprint. <laughs> my, uh... Mine, mine might as well have been, like, uh, Genghis Khan, Salted Earth. You know, everywhere I walked, I, I left a path that could never be walked again. It was, uh... <laughs> uh... I'm just a nigga with a rocket launcher. That's awful. All right, that was a good opening. <laughs> I I I started recording like like when I realized what you were doing, I was like, "Fuck!" So I had to start recording like immediately. I I missed the very <laughs> beginning of it, but I think the point got across. The point got across of the five thousand crimes you committed, I'm, and I'm gonna solve them all. all right, you're gonna solve them? That's crazy. I it's what I owe. I'm nothing without my community. Who's the community? I got... I don't know, man. <laughs> you know how, like, every, like, like YouTuber, like, calls their, like, community something different? Uh, yeah. What do you call yours? Um... No, I'm not saying that. That's... that's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, what the fuck was he about to say? <laughs> We're gonna be called the Lycan Files, dude! We're gonna be called the Lycan Files! The Lycan Files? Yeah, yeah! <laughs> yeah! No, we're, the, not, we're not. We're not. I'm call, adding um, files to the end of a thing, it makes it evil. But what do you what do you call those people who, like, believe they're chosen by God? The, um. The. The cho mess Messiahs? <laughs> no, not Messiahs. No, no, no. There's, like, a, there's like a word for it kind of going around. It's kind of going, going around, like, right now, actually. Um. It's these people who believe, believe, first the of all, they, they believe that Jewish people are evil, first of all. Um, <laughs> oh, that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty par from the course. A lot of people in history have chosen to believe that. I wonder if that has a good track record. Um, <laughs> oh. I don't know. I know Fuck. Starboy, Mr. Weekend says it's Starboy. That, I, I, is that the term that he, we're using nowadays? No. Is it Starboy? Uh, fuck it, yeah. We'll, we'll, call, we'll call it Starboys. Fuck it. We'll be Starboys. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's when, like the we'll... the logo for the podcast comes up and slaps on screen. It's like Star Boy is an outcast. Yeah. I. I. I don't... Can I get Can I get a redo on that comment I just made? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be Mr. Weekend. Um. He have you Fortnite seen emo. like? He does. He does a Fortnite emo. He has a Fortnite skin. He has, I think, two Fortnite skins actually. He um. Does. One of them's MF Doom. And MF Doom. I <laughs> is it MF Doom inspired? Yeah, uh, I don't think it was like purposely MF Doom inspired, but like, I'll get the picture. You can see the resemblance. It's pretty. Uh, it's it's pretty on the nose. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna look at it. He has a he has a Doom mask on. Hmm. Yeah, that is a bit. It's yeah, a little actually. bit resemblance. Yeah. Oh, he has three skins. Well, I only knew he about the one with the fucking, like, he has, like, a army jacket on, like, he has, like, his vest on. And the other one, he has his little, like, is it a do-rag? I think he has a do-rag on. No, it's not a do-rag. And then, does he have a do-rag on? He... Oh my god, he does, he I'm... has fucking, like, yeah. six variants, you're right, holy shit. Yeah, I was pretty sure he had one with a do rag because I there's a, a Twitter account I follow that, uh, you know the, um, they they make like fan made emotes. This is such a lame thing to say, but uh, <laughs> and <laughs> there was there was one I saw of the. Have you seen the dance of? I think it was like the Quandale Dingle guy who did it. It was like the I got more money, I've ever thought of. 
Never. Never. If, if, if I, never? Okay, never. well, I'll have to show you that later. Um, but anyways, I, I saw that, and I don't know what it was. I think it was a hypnotic-induced state I was in, like a, like a snake charmer, truly. <laughs> Even had like an a, Arabic music vibe to it. Um, but no, I definitely fell under like a, a, a curse, a, a trance, and I watched that probably about 10 times. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, in one, and in one of the segments, it switches over to the weekend doing it. And then, but whenever it does like a weird like hip thrust, it uh, switches over to Travis Scott. I hate that. I hate that a yeah. lot. <laughs> that's that's Fortnite for you. You should definitely send it to me though. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll try to find it. <laughs> um, yeah, I think you a picture. You can see inside the second the second skin. He uh, very much has the MF Doom mask on. Shameless. It it's MF Doom. It's it's him. It's it's on the nose, bro. On the nose. <laughs> Why is he an evil, scary skeleton in one of them? I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, bro. It's. Uh... It's it's the weekend, bro. It's it's topical. I guess it is somewhat topical. Um, I just why is he a scary skeleton? Though? Ugh. I I couldn't even begin. I don't know any any weekend lore. Oh my god! Hold the fuck up. Give Do you want to know some? I, I read some papers in college actually about the weekend. They were kind of interesting. Wait, what? Okay, what what was it? What was it? So, uh. When I was doing my creative writing classes, uh, my no, it was creative writing nonfiction. Uh, we read through a lot of articles of like writers going on to do research on various topics. You know, of course, we did uh, like readings like of the of uh, the White Album, you know, from the Beatles, because there's a whole set piece of like this woman going through and kind of discussing the White Album, and then also talking about things like uh, Malcolm X, and uh, also things like the Black Panther movement, shit like that. Interesting. Uh, so th- then that was one of the more like, oh, that's kind of nifty, like, pieces. Right, right. And then there was the piece about how The weekend, all of his concerts are like a weird sex cult thing. Um, um Okay. And- yeah, so have you ever seen a weekend concert? No, never, not once. Okay, so how I I got to see a glimpse of one after this cuz like uh how it works is they'll have these gigantic screens of like close-ups to his face as he's singing like and of course all all weekend songs are uh like prime horny bait, all right? For... Yeah, right. I I typed in the weekend, and the first two songs that came up were "Drunken Love" and "I'm a Virgin." So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've listen. "I'm a Virgin" is pretty good. It's from American Dad. <laughs> is it? Yeah, it's it's an American Dad episode because he's he's because Haley's trying to fuck him, and instead of fucking him, he think we gets like, "I'm sorry, Haley. I just can't do that because my, my virginity gives me all my awesome seeing magical powers." <laughs> like I, I'm not saying the guy's bad, all right, but I, I'd say there is like a weird sex cult like look to his concerts. Uh, I mean, it makes sense. I mean, how many how many people have you met that have proceeded to like look at the weekend in any kind of way? Like, yo, know, damn, I'd fuck that. Not me, no, because you know I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's even in um. There's a, there's a movie with Adam Sandler called uh, Uncut Gems. I'm pretty sure he's even in that movie. And, like, the woman in that movie is trying to have sex with him. Yeah, I'm, t- I'm telling you, it's a weird, like, sex cult thing. Uh, I don't know why my first thought about Uncut Gems. <laughs> We're speaking of, like, we could be a virgin. But I also thought Uncut Gems was another euphemism for, like, uncircumcised penises. But, uh... <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> um... But no, I I I I get that. That's uh, sweet. I like the weekend. All right, I'm, let me make that. I like some. I like some of his music, but he's not someone I'm gonna actively go out and go to a concert for. 
Hmm. I'm F yeah. Doom. Man, I gotta get concert tickets for him. Is it? He got? Is he got a concert coming up anytime soon? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's like a new up and coming rapper. So like, he's a little underground. It might be kind of hard to like. Get some <laughs> yeah, to him. Oh yeah, yeah, he's, <laughs> he's, he's a little underground, all right. <laughs> I uh, I started looking up, you know, fucking the weekend sex cult, and uh, there's like this this show called The Idol. Mm-hmm. Um, and they are also talking about uh. Well, okay, the first Reddit post says, I think this show would have been a would have been good without the weekend slash cult storyline. Um <laughs> he, he said he should have been replaced by an actual actor. I don't buy the charismatic sexy cult leader thing. Um Man, because there's never been a charismatic uh cult leader before. That's just Never, never <laughs> once. Never never once I <sighs> I'm I'm blanking. I'm blanking on name. Oh my! Apparently, they don't exist. Apparently, <laughs> apparently, the weekend came up to the creator of the idol, and his pitch was: if I wanted to start a cult, I could. <laughs> that's that's awesome. That's such a power play. You know, the weekend has such a soft-spoken voice. He goes up, "Hey, if I if I could, if I wanted to start a cult, I would." Oh, <laughs> star boys, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Who starts a conversation <laughs> like that? I just sat down. I... <laughs> oh my god. That's uh I like that a lot though. I like I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> so so bit of a topic change here, okay? Uh, yeah, you, okay, let's you probably you had... get chicken away from weekend sex cult. That's probably a good <laughs> idea. If you had your current mind right now, okay, your mind right now. Mm-hmm. Um and you could go not you could go no you you have you can bring one item with you you get sent back 10 years in time what would you bring with you wait what sorry dude fucking discord does that thing where it decides to be the best messaging service of all time oh oh right 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 um my fault yeah that's why we pay pay for nitro by the way so that we can get this uh premium content um yeah yeah so if you if you got sent back in time ten years and you can only mm-hmm. bring one item with you, what item would you bring? Um ten years. Ten years. Um <laughs> Yeah, that's a good question. It's it's definitely not an easy one, alright? Now I'm gonna add another layer to it. You were okay. not your current. You are not your current self. You are the same age that you were ten years ago. Okay. Okay. Um. And you were put back into that body, back into that situation, and everything. All right. But you have one item with you from ten years into the future. <laughs> you cannot tell anybody that you were from ten years into the future. <laughs> but you have this okay. one item. <laughs> you you put a lot of things on. <laughs> My immediate answer to that, like my joke answer, was, you know those water guns from China, like that have like the holographic displays, and it looks almost like a Halo gun. <laughs> that of all things. I I would have gone back like the Terminator and did <laughs> held that shit around, going, "I am from ten years of the future. This is my Omega Death Ray." <laughs> Terrible. What were um, you like fucking sixteen or something? Fifteen? <laughs> Fourteen. Now you're twenty four. I think I was like There's there's someone I know who's twenty five, but I can never remember who the fuck that twenty five year old is. I always think it's you, then I remember like you're not that much older than me. Maybe it was Ricky? Yeah, I I'm know. I don't know, man. No fucking Oh shit. Uh, I guess. I guess if I wanted to make money, I I would probably like. Fine. I would I would take the the catchiest song I could think of. And just lie and wait for, for ten years. That's... And then right before that, right right before that motherfucker like puts it out, I put it out. That's not a bad idea, actually. It's actually a really fucking I'd... good idea. Right. I. Because, you know, so much of, like, why shit succeeds is, like, the, the 
current like time period, like the culture like around like surrounding us. Uh, if, I, if I put it out then, I don't know how much my my returns are going to be. If I if I last second like slide in like Indiana Jones, I, I, dude, like, I you could be, like I, I will be a king. You can take that fucking Jack Harlow and like Lil Nas X <laughs> song. And like you yeah. can just like drop it like a week beforehand and be like, uh, actually, I already had this made and they stole it from me. Hey, this this was mine. Um, <laughs> it's, it's your voice, like really crudely put over your instrumental. Yeah, I, I'm like, how would you preserve that? You have like a fucking like a USB drive with the MP3 file on it. Like, how would you, how how would you I, keep I'm that? Go to, if someone said you have to get the item now, I'd go to like a. <laughs> I'd go to, like, a CD store, I'd buy it, and I'd go, sure. <laughs> and though you can extract, like, fucking songs from CDs and shit, I just... <laughs> I would just take it. That then. I, um, the reason why this question came up is because be- right before calling you, I had a dream where, um... Oh. Fucking... I got sent back in time, right? But I wasn't, like, aware I got sent back in time. I just woke up back in middle school, I was like, what the fuck? And uh, for some reason, I had a sketchbook on me. I guess that was uh-huh. the one item I got to bring back with me. It was a fucking sketchbook filled with, like, a bunch of my, you know, like, concept drawings and this one really detailed picture I have of Anka sucking dick. And um, Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, that's your drawing to life scenario, buddy, right? Like, this is... <laughs> <laughs> you, congratulations, you woke up from the car crash. That was reality. You're back in the coma, champ. Yeah, that was, uh, that was literally how it felt, right? Because I remembered, like, <laughs> everything, bro. I remembered everything. I had all these fucking dates and whatnot. But, like, whenever I thought about mentioning the fact that I was from the future, my fucking jaw got, like, really, really tight. Like, I was about to fucking bite through my teeth, okay? Um, mm-hmm. and you know, like I'm, I'm walking around. I, I, I like woke up like during the middle of one of my classes too. Okay, and yeah. um, you know, like my my friends are all there, and they like all have these like little fucking shithead middle schooler mentalities and shit. And I just remember being like, "Nigga, I'm not putting up with this shit again." <laughs> and I just like got up and left. And my teacher's trying to stop me. I'm like, "No, sh- shut the fuck up, bitch." And I, I just, like kept on walking. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like looking around I'm looking around the city and I'm like bro like this is not right like something here is not fucking right I get home that night and I get like a letter in the mail it was from some fucking it was from some fucking pharmacy like CVS or something I don't know what the fuck it was uh, I think it was like a Walgreens actually and they were like congratulations Um, you were chosen to like preserve humanity because the world is gonna end soon so we sent you t- back 10 years in time retaining your consciousness um so that you can try to make a difference inside the world. And I'm just fucking sitting here with this, like, fucking sketchbook in my hand, just staring at this letter, like, what the fuck? What am I supposed to do with this information? <laughs> you are gonna preserve humanity? By God. And, <laughs> your, and, and your tool? Is this, this is notebook we gave you. Now let's see what ancient knowledge you put in. This is just, this is just Anka sucking dick until... So it's like <laughs> 70, 70 pages of Anka sucking dick. Dude, like, I'm telling you, like, I, I remember, like, sitting there, like, <clears throat> like, I'm like, trying to explain this to my sister, who at the time of my dream is, like, fucking 11 or 10 or something like that. I slap the fucking book down in front of her, and I'm flipping through the pages, and I'm, like, pointing at the date. But then sometimes my, like, my ass had to be, like, fucking drunk or something when I was writing the date down because I was not writing the right, like, it was just a string of numbers. I was like, what the fuck? What do these numbers mean, Mason? Like, what is this? <laughs> and I had to just look fucking crazy to everybody. <laughs> you, like, look, you're like, look at it. Sister, sister, you gotta believe, you gotta believe. Don't look, don't look at the sucking dick. Don't do that. Just look at this. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know at some point I like fucking cracked because my sister was pissing me off so I just screamed at her I'm from the future and then like right after screaming at her like my fucking teeth like my, my, my fucking mouth clenches so hard I fucking bite one of my molars in half um, which makes oh it the God. second night it's the second night in a row I've had a dream about my teeth falling out which is very strange to me but um yeah that it was I think it's, it's an intrinsically terrifying idea you know like it, it is um, it's just the, the idea that your teeth are just gonna be gone, you know, not the greatest <laughs> idea on the planet. I just fucking... <laughs> the, 
<laughs> they start popping out one by one piano keys. <laughs> Dude, that's what happened in my dream fucking the night yeah. before last, all right? Like, literally, I like, mm. walked up to my dad. And I was like, Dad, I don't feel so good. And then my teeth just fucking fell out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think this is it. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's just going to that, that, listen, as someone who doesn't get really good dreams, or at least doesn't remember their dreams because they're so fucking mundane, um, it's, it's, I, I, it's fucking crazy to me that you're still dealing with this shit. I, as, like, a kid, I had, like, super bad, like, nightmares and shit. Like, that, like, super fucked me up. But nowadays, I have a dream, and it's along the lines of, I think I, I, think I need to go get milk. Yeah, I'll go get that's milk. crazy, bro. And, I, and, and, and then I'll go get milk, and that's the dream. Part of me wishes that I got dreams like that, because, like, don't get me wrong, I, I get I get cool dreams, okay? I get, like, fun dreams. Mm-hmm. I had this dream recently where, um, um, I got, like, trapped inside of this, like, underground bunker, and there was, like, a Duncan Rampa situation going on, but rather than us killing each other like fucking idiots, we just turned against the mastermind. Um... <laughs> And like that was a fun dream, right? But like, I would I would be okay with the occasional dream where you know I just like, yeah, you know today I think I think I'll take a shower actually. <laughs> it's I mean some of them are nice. Some of them I'll wake up and be like, wow, that was not horrible. But other times I'll I'll have like it's almost like a lucid dream situation, right? I'll fully understand I'm dreaming. I I know it isn't real. But I can't do any of, like, the cool shit I've heard people can do while they're lucid dreaming. I proceed to just, like, be, like, I'm gonna fly, and I just stand there, looking like a fucking good shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll just be like, fuck. Uh, I guess I'll go get that milk. <laughs> when I, okay, when I was younger, and I, like, realized I was lucid dreaming. Sorry, I had to save america that's all right honestly thanks to your valiant efforts i was able to get a water so i think everything really worked out for america that was that was a good uh intermission um yeah i i honestly i'm not gonna apologize (laughs) i take it back i i'm a hero (laughs) uh no continue continue though please um Oh, right, right, yeah. Whenever whenever I was younger and had a lucid dream, like, oh, yeah. it was never like, oh, yeah, I gotta start flying, I gotta, like, fucking start getting superpowers. And and there were some where I got superpowers, right? Like, I remember one, I think I was around, like, 20 at the time, Chainsaw Man had, like, just became a thing. Um, yeah. I, know, I had this, like, one dream where uh, I was Denji, I know Jacob was fucking Aki, and I became the Chainsaw Man and became, like, riding the power lines across the city like a Sonic game. Um, yeah and that shit was cool but most of the time when i was younger and had lucid dreams it was just i have to grab the nearest thing and fuck it like (laughs) right now like i have to just 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 fuck it (laughs) i had this one like really vivid fucking i should not admit this on on video but i had this one really vivid memory of like like i i have like a cute animal crossing dream (laughs) <laughs> and I yeah. know, like Isabel was like giving me a tour around the island and then suddenly yeah. I became lucid and I was like well this is it <laughs> <laughs> you hear that viewer first crime I made him confess to <laughs> I was busting it down sexual style bro it was crazy <laughs> that's, that's fucking wild okay so that's like a I, as a as a young like a super young kid like second like first third around around the like like age range for me uh like I had lucid dreams uh like I had a whole, super bad nightmares almost like every night uh I I think it's where like a lot of my fucked up sleeping habits came from where I just if I did not sleep I don't have to deal with fucking all, everything because I'd have dreams where like I'm just like playing in a park and all of a sudden someone comes up with a bow and arrow and shoots me and i'm fully oh cognizant God. i'm dreaming and i'll and i'll try screaming for help but nothing comes out I'm like that is the worst that is the fucking worst <laughs> and, and then they'll go do you want another and they'll shoot me again 
And that happened, like, just about every night. I had, like, a thousand ways to die in every single dream. <laughs> I was, I don't know why I was such a stressed out kid. I, I think um, the same thing happened to me when I was young, because, like, the, <laughs> the way that I literally found out, like, what death was, is that I had this dream where I had this, like, red ball, okay? And my mom and I are playing, like, the red ball. And the red ball, like, falls over this cliff, and then rather than, like, going, oh, the ball fell, I fucking, like, jump off the cliff to go get <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> The red balls looking at you doing the Lich King thing. Oh. <laughs> and, just... and I was like, okay. And I just fucking, like, jump over the edge, bro. And it, like, it hit me, like, halfway through the fall that, like, oh, I'm not, I'm not going to be okay if I hit the ground. Like, this is a big fall. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, I think, like, after that for, not even I think, I know. After that for a long while, like, I basically went through the same thing of, like, Okay, if I don't sleep, I don't gotta deal with, like, scary thoughts about how I can possibly die. Because I was still too young to understand how death really worked. So it was just, like, yeah. anything can kill you. Giant fucking piano falls in the sky and lands on your head. You're not coming <laughs> giant piano falls in the sky. That's, that's such a... That's a... <laughs> I, mean, I like fucking little young dude look up in the sky and try to fucking pianos fall down. Oh, hamburgers. <laughs> Crushes you flat. That was, that was your, like, <laughs> that was, it was a pre-world period where you were like, I live this, I, I'm, I'm taking this. <laughs> I survived this, and not only do I survive it, I live to tell the tale in a fun, comedic way. I'll even walk out of this like an accordion. I'll bounce up and down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It's like, like I don't think I don't know how the fuck I thought the world worked, but fucking, I was like, like what seven? I don't know. Mm. I remember, like, bro, I was super fucked <laughs> up when I woke up from that fucking that ball dream too. Okay, because oh. Mm. Uh, I I fell asleep in the back of my mom's car, but I didn't realize I fell asleep. Um, so mm -hmm. I just like remember waking up in the back of my mom's car, and like no one's in the fucking car with me. I'm all alone, and there's a fucking bee flying around. That shit, that shit scarred me, bro. I like ran to the house like, mom, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. She was like, what? What are you talking about? I, I, there's a bee. There's a fucking bee. <laughs> <laughs> I did not fuck with bees since that day, bro. What's up with you? You fuck with the bees? <laughs> it's a bee, mom! It's a bee! I need help! I don't want to die! <laughs> hey, mom's like looking back. I don't see a bee. You see a you see a gigantic bee sitting right next to you. He's like going naked. <laughs> You're awfully mature for your age. <laughs> you know, mom! Mom! <laughs> mom, there's a bee! <laughs> You're awfully mature for your age. <laughs> what? Why is it be a pedophile? <laughs> I don't know, man. Anything to make it even scarier. Kid, <laughs> <laughs> uh. oh I got Donkey Kong Country on my Game Boy Advance SP. You want to check this out? <laughs> no, I don't like monkeys. No. <laughs> no! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Your mother stops the car. Fucking pumps on the brakes. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> I'm like, I don't... Dude, okay, that brings me to another another crazy childhood trauma I have. Um, one time, once upon a time, okay. Um, you know, yeah. I, I went to a predominantly black school. Whoops, yeah. my bad. But I did. Yeah. Um, um, my mom was saying something about how she's like sick of black people, okay? My, mom, my mom's racist towards everyone. She hates everyone, okay? Yeah. Um, yeah. And she said something about how she's sick of black people like always being so loud. And I remember agreeing with her. 
Um, and I was like 11 at the time, but yeah, I remember agreeing with her because the kids at the, the kid, the black kids in the back of my bus were loud as fuck. All I was trying to do every day was sit on my fucking DS and play fucking Dragon Quest nine. But these kids were screaming, bro. And like throwing shit around. I was always getting hit by like stray bullets and shit. And I remember agreeing with my mom, and my mom, like, ripped the fucking door open, and she was screaming in my face about how, like, I wasn't proud to be who I was. <laughs> and I was ashamed of being, like, a black person. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, I was... I was just... I was just saying that the people in the back of the bus should quiet down. That's all I was saying. My mom did not believe me, bro. My mom would not believe me for the, like, for the life <laughs> of me, bro. <laughs> I, I'm just agreeing with you, mom. Why? Why are you hating? <laughs> I feel like she may have been taking out her anger on me. Like maybe just a, just a little bit, you know, just just a tiny bit. But... I, 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 you know, I kind of had something like that. Uh, which wouldn't doesn't make sense now that I I curse like a sailor, like I do. But, um. My folks, whenever we were, I was like growing up, uh, they were super. They were super hard about like language. You know, you, you like spoke correctly. You didn't like say anything. Um, right. And this is this is set up for me not saying even a fucking curse word, dude. Right? Let me make that very clear. Um, so it's like a, a hot summer day, right? I, right. I remember I was I was stuck in this black uh, truck. I'm in the back seat. My mom has been in an auto zone uh, talking with someone for probably about 40 minutes. I'm, I'm, I'm like dying. Like it's like I'm like, oh, I don't think I'm gonna make it. So uh, I, uh, I get out of the car, uh, and I proceed to then walk into the place, and I go, uh, and my mom's like still talking, and I, as like you know, I'm a little, I'm a little kid. So I walk up and I go, Mom, can I have the keys so I can start the car? It's like AC or something. It's really freaking hot outside. And you would you would swear like I I basically just said a slur in public, like the way my mother looked at me. <laughs> like she she said, We're, we will have a talk in the car. Bro. And, Wait, and I can you repeat your words back to me? What did you say to her that made her? I I I said it's really freaking hot out there. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and I, I remember going home and my mom looking at me going, that language is not okay. Oh my. I, I love my mom, alright? I, I would not be the first time without my mom, but I, I remember that story forever because I think it's the funniest shit. I, she must have been stressed out about something because she did not care that much. <laughs> <laughs> she did not. <laughs> Dude, okay, basically the same shit happened to me. And my mom, like, sat down and had a really long conversation with me because she was like, if you're going to say freaking, you may as well say fucking. And I, I just remember, like, like, I, like, what was I supposed to do? Like, I, you can't win that situation. Hey, well, if you're offering. <laughs> yeah, like, that ass. Well, <laughs> well, if it's on the table, I guess. <laughs> I just... All right. So now that we are officially... 34 minutes and 48 seconds into the fucking recording. I want you to know that when I said, when I said 48 seconds, I watched it skip from 47 to 49. The 48 never came up. Um, <laughs> that's annoying. Um, Ooh. <laughs> we should probably uh, 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 introduce ourselves for the, for the viewers at home. Uh, hey, guys. My name is Phoenix Downed. You may know me from the channel Phoenix Downed, or maybe, you know, um, the name of this YouTube video, Phoenix Downed. Um, and I'm here with my friend uh, Brandon, otherwise known as Lycan. Yeah. And we've been talking about doing a podcast since we were, like, 17, 18. Um, yeah. And now here we are, 23, 24, doing the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> if, I, if I could go back in time and tell my ass what myself uh you know tell myself how things really would have been i don't think i would have made it right now you know if i, I uh, think i think i would have given up at 17 <laughs> <laughs> if, I could, if i could go back in time put my hands on fucking little 16 year old isaiah's shoulders and go get the fuck <laughs> off geeking nigga do something i probably would have did something if i uh if i had the ability to go back in time i'd be in a gigantic bee costume i'd go back in the car <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. If I could bring one item with me and go back <laughs> 10 years, it would be a giant bee costume. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so bad. Yeah. yeah, I have a I have a cloaky device. You'll she'll never see me, but you will. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh it's man. awesome. Damn, now that I'm thinking about it, I really think in about three years I'll have known you for ten years, which is yeah, is that, is that wild? Is that, that a little is, crazy? That is... What the fuck has really happened in these ten years? It's, uh... Honestly, I think it's, um... I, 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 don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, you know, like, I... I remember going to, to high school and being like, Hey, guys, I'm gonna go to the Discord call! And then for probably about three hours, I could not talk. Because uh, I would come out like the little beatbox kid from Miserable Gumball. Um. <laughs> oh my god! I I I I have full recollect like full recollection of uh I, probably the first time I think I ever like showed my face or like anything uh regarding me, and it was just like. I think I showed a picture of like the the stuff I was wearing. I think it was my single pants uh, leg and like a, a shoe, uh, and I got ostracized because I, I everyone thought I had one leg. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think ostr ostracized the right word for it, but I I, I find it quite funny. That is insane. <laughs> uh, no, it's I, uh... it's it's cr it's crazy to me because I I before this whole point I had another. Like, online group I kind of talked with, but that one kind of, like, fell apart. But that was, like, Unison League people. I don't, I don't know how much you were into Unison League culture, but that shit it's crazy. Honestly, you may have known Jacob if you played Unison League. You may have known him before you, like, actually met him, because, uh, I, Jacob was big into Unison League. I, dude, I, I played a fair bit, and I knew a, I knew a lot of the really good players, like, by name, like, uh, it was, it was a little wild to me, like, I, I was, uh, I was in, not, like, top, at least, like, top 50 guilds, like, I was, I knew people in that shit, and I even hung out with a lot of them for, like, in Skype calls, whenever, you know, Skype for Discord. Good old Skype, uh, man, good old Skype. Yeah. I remember when I was still in, um, I think it was my sophomore year of high school and i was really getting into that and, <laughs> and i was uh i, I played on a tablet because uh, another another dorky fact about me uh that really should just go to the annals of time uh no one <laughs> no one should know my my shame uh <laughs> but i didn't own a phone until i was in my junior year of high school like i did not own a I, I didn't see a use for it because yet again i'm the same motherfucker who i was asked like to have my number and i proceed to say i want to play yakuza like he want me to uh, yeah, like I, was, I i just i wanted to go home i wanted to play my video game and i and i wanted to repeat that process till i die uh now i'm sad and alone I, oh viewers, if you, you you like me <laughs> Let me know. Just any sexy single baby mama sitas out there. <laughs> whoa, 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 baby mama! No, 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 no. No, 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 no baby no. mama sitas. Ooh, I work with kids already. I'm good. I <laughs> yeah, no, fair enough. Fair enough. Hey, you gotta, you gotta pay top dollar for that. I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> you have to pay top dollar. Yeah, I go buy an hourly rate. <laughs> like a premium membership. I don't think yeah. fourteen. <laughs> I canceled it last night. I actually did. Oh, I just broke my fucking pocket knife. What the fuck? I probably should do that. Uh, yeah, I might need this for like protection when I'm out on the streets or something. I do. You might have to remind some kids in the back why they should be so loud. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> what, the uh, fuck was I, what, what the fuck was I about to say, bro? Fuck, the knife breaking threw me off entirely. Um. Oh, right, right. Okay, so. Like... My, uh. 
My my like only my only online friend group has really ever been you guys. I had a couple mm -hmm. here and there. Um like uh, actually I'm probably, I probably shouldn't go into detail about them. They should probably stay inside the grave cuz uh the digital footprint and all. Um but yeah. yeah, like the very first uh person I met online was probably mm. Jacob actually. Uh there there may have been some people before him, but the first people who first person like really stuck was Jacob. Um Oh. You know what? No, we can go back even further. Do you remember a time before when Geeking had uh before Geeking got the Twitter feed? So Geeking got the what? The Twitter feed, you know, like the uh, like yeah, live posting. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, there back when it was just chat rooms, there was a chat room called um Everyone Lives Together in a Big House RP. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I made that. That's awesome. That's an I, awesome. Everyone <laughs> in a big house. In a big house. And yeah, it was just like a, like a slice of life thing, right? Where the more people who joined, basically the more rooms were added into the house. That was it. That was the whole concept. Yeah. And uh, yeah. it was it was the biggest role play on geeking for a very 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 long time. Um, I guess I can consider those people my first like online friends, even though they weren't really friends. I think that everyone in retrospect was just lonely. Um, whoops. <laughs> uh, yeah, that that went on for a very long time. But <clears throat> as all things do, uh, it ended up dying. Right before around the era, the time era where uh, the feed got introduced, and then mm -hmm. I met Jacob and this girl named Corey inside of a elemental um elemental high school role play. Of course, Jacob you uh, found there. I, I I love him. <laughs> it's uh, very Jacob. It's very Jacob. It, it is very it is very Jacob. Um, like I'm not, but, I'm not shocked at this revelation. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he, he had the uh, the min maxer wind knight user, right? Like he used, he used win, and uh, actually, do you remember that one campaign? It was me, you, Annie, I think Tony was there, and maybe, maybe Malcolm. Yeah, Malcolm was there, and we were like, um, you were playing Klein. You were Klein. I was CL. Oh yeah, I, yeah. I was. Yeah, yeah, that, I'm, dude. I can't, I can't think of a single thing now, like, in any game without thinking of uh, my body being assaulted by multiple <laughs> gigantic bugs. <laughs> it's just, but I got vorpled that game, dude. I got vorpled. You did. You got vorpled. It was, it was bad. You literally exploded on the spot. And you know, like, Attack on Titan, you know, like, when they do that, like, that wide-eyed stare, and they're just like, what the fuck? Like, that was everyone else, bro. We were, we were just flabbergasted. But uh, I, I was talking such big shit that game too, man. I was like, I'm, <laughs> I, I'm above you, peons. I'm, I'm, I'm built different. I'm quite literally built different. <laughs> no, I, that I entire D campaign was actually based on that role play from like years and years ago. That's um, wild. Yeah, we met in there. Um, Corey, I still follow her on Instagram every now and then. Me and her talk, but for the most part, you know, she's living her own life. Um, yeah. Jacob and uh Jacob introduced me to Brian. And then me, Brian, and Jacob. You put we put this one friend I had named Nathan actually. Nathan, I'm sorry, Nathan. I love you, bro. I'm sorry. But um You know how when you meet new people, you know, you still wanna have that one person that you know around so that you can have like that kind of familiar ground while yeah. meeting new people. Um Nathan was that familiar ground for me. And the second that Nathan couldn't like he couldn't download Skype. He couldn't uh -huh. get new games on his computer because his parents would always be like, oh, that game cost money, even though the game was free. Like, he couldn't even get on Roblox or anything. So Nathan, unfortunately, was, got left in the dust. <laughs> was, this the, was this the guy who was like, I remember him showing up that the other, like, that one server, who was like, yeah, guys, lost the home. <laughs> I just, <laughs> you just pop every once in a while, just like, <laughs> everything's awful. No. If it could get worse, it probably is gone off. <laughs> you might be thinking about Jesse. Jesse. Um... Oh yeah, it was Jesse. It was Jesse. God bless <laughs> Jesse. But yeah, that nigga's life was shit, bro. That nigga was always going through something. Um, Jesse. 
<laughs> oh man, Jesse. I feel like we should get into Jesse in a later episode because Jesse, he was my nigga, but Jesse, um, he had some glaring red flags I was not noticing at the time. Uh, <laughs> I love you, Jesse. I love all my friends. <laughs> Just, uh, I, I just I thought that was the guy you were talking about before because I was just remember I'd be sitting there and we were talking like normal like yeah took the house <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's going on here there was a lot of there's been a lot of characters over the years like before yeah. be, before you showed up there was this one girl named Luna um and Luna. Her thing was that, like, any role play that we were in, she would take her real life problems and put them into the role play. And it was really, really, really bad. Like, really bad. Um, yeah. You knew Pan. Pan was certainly, certainly a character. Um, Lorenzo. Yeah, you knew Lorenzo. Yeah, I, kn- I know Lorenzo. He is a, he's a character. Uh, he's also a character. Yeah. Lots of characters over the years. Now I do drugs. No, I honestly, honestly, it, I it, it. Sometimes I have to remind myself that in all retrospect, I'm pretty normal. I'm I'm a pretty normal guy, like with a grain of salt, of course. You know, there's, uh, but like my living situation, everything, uh, I'm 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 pretty normal. Yeah, I felt that. That's me. I I uh, <laughs> I'm not looking at it going. Uh, Suck the fucking kids. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's some people who like their lives are just a legitimate hellscape, and um, sometimes I'd be thinking that like what I'm going through, I got it bad, but then I remember they exist, and I'm like, eh, I'm just gonna keep playing Final Fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> I every time I I have that same thought, my little Disco Elysium voice in my head goes off and goes, uh, actually, uh, who cares? They're doing. Uh, are you them? Nah. <laughs> oh man. And I I want to. I don't know. Like like a younger me, right? A younger me would be like, "That's so mean." No, don't say you don't care about their problems. And it's not that I don't care about their problems, but it's like, oh no, not that. What the fuck am I gonna do, bro? Yeah, there's like, there's a very disconnect, you know. Like, at some point, you just have you got to be there supportive. You gotta care, you gotta listen, but there's, there's not much else you can do beyond that and some shit. Like, it's, it truly really is a not everyone wins situation. Literally, bro. It made it easy just to lose. Yeah. I mean, I'm fucking I'm, I'm I've, I've experienced my, uh, my recent share of, uh, what, what the hell's going on. Uh, $3,000! I'm, yeah, I'm waiting that for was it. A, that was a situation. <clears throat> that was certainly a situation. Well, did, did I tell I, you about even, Chipotle? Even then, it's fucking awful. No, you have not told me about Chipotle. I know you worked at Chipotle. What happened with Chipotle? Okay, so I worked at Chipotle for maybe four months, okay? Yeah. Um, In those four months, I put in uh, anywhere from 40 hours to 60 hours every week. There was a couple weeks here and there where I couldn't get that. I was never scheduled 40 hours, by the way. Chipotle only schedules you mm-hmm. about 26 hours a week. I don't know why they do that. But I would pick up extra days so that, you know, I got money. Um, and you get paid bi weekly at Chipotle, which is god fucking awful. Um, yeah, imagine but... having to live that way looking at myself. God, god damn it. <laughs> Dude, it's awful. I don't know how you do it. Like, genuinely, I don't know how you do it. Granted, you are. <laughs> working more than fucking 20 something hours a week so i know. yeah yeah they give me uh my, my they, they give me my pity scraps every once in a while yeah, nice. <laughs> but um basically i went into chipotle because i got hired there by my cousin i used the word cousin very lightly um we are so distantly related that it's hard to really call him my cousin however he is my cousin um yeah so he, he gets me hired inside of there, and um, the instant I get hired inside of there, I look at him, and I'm like, I want your job. So I'm busting my ass every single fucking week, and somehow I'm still coming home and, like, playing fucking video games and getting shit done, right? Like, Baldur's Gate 3, mm-hmm. bro, 
There was a there was like a, a month long period where me and one of my coworkers were waking up probably three or four hours before work. We worked at five o'clock in the morning, so we were waking up at like one a.m. and then we yeah. were playing Baldur's Gate for like four hours and then going to fucking work. Um, and uh, you know, like it was. I'm not gonna say it was the worst job ever because it certainly wasn't the worst job ever. But I most definitely there were times where I was like walking past the uh dispensers for the what do they call paper towels and i would punch it as hard as i can just so i could feel something um it was you had, it was, you had a you had a walter white experience yeah yeah it was um yeah. it was bad bro it was bad and uh at some point my general manager my cousin ends up having sex with one of the co-workers and he is flexing that he had sex with one of the co-workers and uh, talking up a big game. Basically like, oh, I'm so Ooh. cool. I'm so tough. Um, nigga, uh-uh. <laughs> I didn't care, bro. I I very simply didn't care. And I think he eventually caught on to the fact that, like, no one gave a fuck that he was, like, having sex with this co-worker. Because it eventually got to the point where he was like, oh, yeah, I don't even really fucking like her anyway. She's a fucking bitch, blah, blah, blah. Um... Then this coworker goes and has sex with one of my friends. My, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say his name, but one of my boys. Yeah. Okay. Um, and the second that she has sex with one of my boys, my my general manager is now furious. This nigga is beyond pissed off. He is, he thinks that he's a master manipulator. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he's anyone not. who said that about themselves is always then a, a strong track record of. Good morality. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure, bro. For sure. <laughs> for sure, nigga. <laughs> he, uh... He, uh... You know, he, he, he's trying to, like, get me to, like, not trust my friend. Um... And, you know, he's trying to like, get everyone to, like, turn against my friend and whatnot. And it's not working, okay? It's, it's very simply not working. And he's making such a big obsession about this girl... That his girlfriend ends up finding out, oh, hey, he cheated on me. Now, oh. she doesn't say oh, anything that's... about it. She doesn't say anything Ooh. about it, right? She waits about a week and a half to two weeks to, like, let him come forward about it. And I keep on telling my boy every day, you should just go to your girlfriend. Or my cousin, rather. Uh, I keep telling him every day, like, you should just go to your girlfriend. You should tell her, hey, I messed up. I cheated on you. I feel bad about it. I want to make amends. It's, you know, it's not going to end well. But at this point, no matter what you do, it's not going to end well. So you know what he does? It's a bomb. He, he, he made a bomb. You, do, you know, do, you know, do you know what his response to this is? I want you to take a guess, bro. I'm going to guess he says, oh, so you're trying to give me advice? Get out! Get out! <laughs> worse, bro. Actually worse. Um, I mean, what happened? He says... <laughs> Yeah, that girl raped me. I didn't want to have sex with her. She held me at gunpoint and raped me. What the hell? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, you had one job. You had one fucking job. <laughs> of course his dumb as bricks fucking girlfriend believes him, right? Uh, so, oh. Chipotle yeah. ends up getting involved. Now, Chipotle and the police are coming in there, interrogating everyone, asking questions. They pull me into a room. And, and mind you, okay, again, I'm pulling like 40 to 60 hours every week because I'm trying to come yeah. up, become a fucking manager there, okay? Mm-hmm. So I'm sitting I'm sitting down with the fucking regional manager, and I'm just like staring at her with fucking bags under my bags. And I'm like, mm-hmm. look, here's exactly what happened. He had sex with her. He got embarrassed because his girlfriend found out. He crumbled under the fucking pressure. Can I get my promotion now? <laughs> okay. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, bro, like, uh, it was bad. It was fucking bad. So, the long story short is, I end up going in and doing the test for my promotion. Okay, I, uh, surprisingly, actually, fucking ace the test. I thought I was gonna fucking fail that shit. I took like seventeen hours worth of fucking courses to become the fucking manager there. Blah blah blah. Um, I go in, uh, in my last month of working. I go in and um, my cousin and then one of my other cousins who also worked there, they both end up getting fired. So now we have basically 
half of the like manager staff that we used to have. Um, they end up both getting yeah. fired. I don't know why my other cousin got fired, but fuck it, whatever. Um, and I'm working there for about another my week. Coworker. <laughs> I'm working there for about another <laughs> week. Uh, a, a new general manager comes in. The new general manager ends up finding out that me and about four other people who work there were all related to the old general manager. He fires all of us. Oh, uh, damn. Um, and I've ha- I got a new job since then. I quit that job already. But ever since that point, I have like had this firm mindset of I will never break my back for a company again. It's not worth it, bro. Oh, absolutely not, brother. I Listen, I... I, I work in a, a system that it's probably I, I hate saying this because it makes me seem like I'm a martyr. I I, I really do. I I truly think uh, nowadays education in some fucking places is, is some of the roughest fucking shit you can get yourself into. Right there in in my uh, in my county, there's like uh, a ton of a lot of people just don't have your back. Um, and ever so, like my my county got taken over by the by the state. You mean and a lot the, of people. Do you mean the like your fellow teachers, or do you mean like... fellow teachers, other parents? It's everyone, dude. Oh it's, man, it is, dude. I I walked. Um, I I when I was teaching uh, this this last year at the high school, uh, I had I I had to go get uh, my uh, throat checked out because I was I'm like vomiting constantly. Right, like. Right. Uh, my, I, I, if I ever put anything in my stomach, it instantly wants to come out. Jesus. And yeah, it's awful. Is it still <laughs> happening? Eh, like every once in a while, it's like super bad uh, stomach acid. Like I've just really bad acid reflux. Yeah. And uh, as I like left to do that, um, the the state inspects the school. They, they, so they inspect my classroom. Mind you, I'm only hired as a long-term sub for this year because I just got fucked over. Right. But they still expect me to do like super professional, like level, like task without being paid like professional. Um. And as I'm as I'm proceeding to you know do my task, you know I'm I'm away for that day. Apparently, what happens is the teacher from a little bit down the hall from me comes into my classroom. Well, the the state auditor is in my classroom and proceeds to tell the state auditor, yeah, he never leaves plans for his subs. <laughs> okay. And, I, and I'm and which is a blatant lie, right? It's a blatant lie. They're always there. The kids know where they are. All right. I leave them in a folder that says sub plans for today. <laughs> uh, it's it's right in the middle of my desk. It's always there. Um. And. You know, it's I do that. I come back. The only way I find out about it is because like the kids tell me, because uh, I'm I am a champion of the people. Right, right. Always have been, always will. Uh, those kids snitch so fucking fast. Do those kids like? Do they like you, or are they just shithead kids and they just oh, snitch on everyone? Oh, uh, uh, quite a quite a fair bit of kids like me. Oh, okay. Cool. I like I I had a kid make a TikTok hate page about me. <laughs> um. When I was teaching middle school, and that's those same kids, I, I simply, I didn't know who they were. I, I had suspicions, but I didn't know who they were. So what I did was, I, <laughs> for my bell ringer that day, I went and I did a quote from one of their posts, and I said, I, I basically said the words, "You will have about the end of the today." Tell me who runs this page, or I have a fifty-question impossible test that none of you will pass. That's crazy, <laughs> and I, bro. <laughs> I, 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 I did the, I put the gun on the table technique. Within ten seconds, I got my answer. Holy shit! <laughs> and I didn't even just get it from like other people. I got it from the person who did it, and then the person who did it gave me other <laughs> like hate pages of other people who runs them. Like, I, <laughs> mind you, right? This like beginning of the year, probably like second quarter. By fourth quarter, all right, my birthday rolls around. They get me a Roronoro Zoro action figure to put on my desk. Bro, what? 
Yep. <laughs> That's kind of fire, though. What? This 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 kid's coming to lunch. They're like both of these kids are eating with me. Like, I'm I'm not trying to like to brag about my my ability to communicate, but. Kids like me. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm kinda, a good teacher. That's kind of fire, though, bro. The, the, fucking, the, the, the enemies, the friends arc is crazy, bro. They're, they're good kids. I like them. I, I liked. I really liked all my kids when I was working middle school. I hope to God they never fucking find any of my fucking shit, but I, I really do like them. They find us podcasts. Oh my God, Mr. Weir, Mr. Weir! <laughs> they start just screaming, they start hollering. Oh my god. Alright, hold on. I gotta go get something real fast. I'll be right back. Word. Uh. How could you know what I need to know? How could, how could, how can you tell me how you feel if it's yeah, it's all lies? You know what? I, I say we just go short for this first one. I got food that just came in. Let's let's keep it short, because most people already uh, are not listening right now. <laughs> They're, they're going, I don't like this Brandon guy. I uh, I was just about to say, like, we should fucking cut it in, like, ten minutes or something, because fucking... I don't even know what the fuck... I had no plans when I came into this. I was like, let's just sit down and start talking and see where it goes. I think that was very natural. I think it was a good uh, a good time. You know? Yeah, I I that, was, that, was fun. that was a good way to kick it off. Good way to kick it off. Next time, yeah. we'll have some plans. Um, what yeah. do you want to do with this podcast? What is your What is your plan? What is your goal? I have a, I need to have a, uh, I guess, um, I don't know, I like talking about shit. I, I love talking about my opinion. Uh, <laughs> I think, but it's the same, you know, it's the, the moral kind of, everyone likes talking about their own fucking opinion. Right, right. Um, I'd, I love my I'd opinion. like to, I'd love to talk in, because I think the online experience is so differentiating from, like, person to person, you know? Like, mm-hmm. we talked a little bit today about, like, your own, like, online experience. I'd like to, I'd, I'd like to talk more about that with just kind of anyone I can. Um. Should we get a Should we get a I guest for the next episode? Yeah, we can get a guest. I like guests. Um, can we make them a hot babe? I don't know. Wow. You know um, uh, <laughs> we bring in Jacob. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, we we'll bring in Jacob. We'll bring in Jacob. You're right. <laughs> a hot babe. <laughs> Jacob's <in> my. <laughs> Let me look at the score charts to the most impactful in the friend group again. <laughs> oh yeah, it's pretty up there. Nah, I think Cole's number one now. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, I talked to them last night. Fucking, I, I do not know any of their names. <laughs> <laughs> I think they'll call themselves Jack, and I just go, all right, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that came from, bro. You're you're all Oompa Loompas to me. <laughs> That's what they feel like. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh. We need out. We need something to end this with. Everybody, goodbye, everybody, goodbye, everybody. Bye, goodbye, everybody. bye, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>